In this video, I am going to explain what is RDD. RDD stands for Resilient Distributed Data Set. RDDs are a foundational concept in Apache Spark, which is designed to provide an efficient and fault tolerant way to process the data in parallel across a cluster of machines. Just think of it as a collection of data that is spread across multiple computers or nodes in a cluster. Each piece of this data can be processed independently and in parallel. Let me break down the each component. First one is resilient. RDDs are resilient because they can recover automatically from errors or failures. If one part of data or one computer fails, the processing can continue using the other parts of the data on the other computers. RDDs are distributed because they divide the data into smaller chunks and distribute these chunks across different computers. This allows for faster processing by using multiple computers at the same time. Dataset. RDDs represent a dataset which can be anything from a simple collection of numbers to complex data structures like records from database. I hope you understand what is RDD. Let me create a RDD. Before that, you have to make sure that your cluster is up and running. Here you can see my, cl my cluster is up and running. Now, let me create a list. This line creates a Python list and it named as uh, data which contains integers from uh, 1 to 9 numbers. Now next I want to create RDD. RDD equals C dot parallelize data. Let me run. I can able to run. This is the way how we can create RDDs. Let me explain this. I think you know this is this data is a list. SC SC parallelize uh, data. The parallelize method is called on SC. This method takes the local collection data and distributes it elements across the Spark cluster. In Databricks, SC is pre initialized and uh, available for use. Spark context is the entry point for Spark functionality, which allowing you to create RDDs and perform operations on them. By parallelizing the list into an RDD, you enable Spark to process the data in parallel across multiple nodes in the cluster. This makes data processing much faster and more efficient, especially for large data sets. Now our RDD is ready. What are the operations we can perform on RDDs? RDDs support two types of operations. One is transformations and actions. What are transformations? These are the operations that produce a new RDD from an existing one. In next video, we will learn about transformations. The next one, actions. What are actions? Action is a, actions in Apache Spark are operations that initiate the execution of transformations and collect or write the data to external storage. I hope you understand. In coming videos, you will get more information on uh, transformation and actions. In next video, I will show you how can we create a simple program using RDDs. See you in next video.